Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to iTouch App Reviewers. In this video, I wanted to kind of rant on some of what Apple has done recently that I don't like. So I don't like being lied to, no one does, but I take it to the extreme. If someone lies to me, I pretty much cut them out of my life. Um, and I should apply that to companies as well. Now I know no company has ever not been deceptive. Everyone's deceptive in some ways to kind of get sales. I understand marketing. However, with the iPhone 7, I feel like I've been deceived for years. So uh, the first thing is the Sapphire Crystal lens cover on the iPhone's camera lens. I always actually believed it was Sapphire Crystal. And while it is partially Sapphire Crystal, it's not fully. And so the fact that they're saying, okay, the iPhone 7 has a Sapphire Crystal lens cover, that is not fully true. Uh, if you want to watch a video, I'll link it. I'll put it on the screen right now. Um, Jerry rig everything. He did a test. He has the Mohs scale hardness, little pen things, and he can scratch different surfaces to see like what uh, hardness scale they actually are. So he took an iPhone 7 lens and used his little pen thingy on it, and it scratched at Mohs scale of 6. I think anything that's actually Sapphire should not have scratched until it hit 8. He took a Tissot watch and you know, scratched that as well. And it didn't scratch until it got up to about eight as well. So that was actual Sapphire. The iPhone 7's lens appears to just be a normal piece of glass with Sapphire laminated on top of it, which does not equi equate to the protection that you would get if it was actually Sapphire Crystal. So that kind of pissed me off. So ever since the iPhone you know, 5S, they've been saying, oh, it's Sapphire Crystal. Well, it is and it isn't. Apple has a patent on like a lamination process basically. So I wish they would be a little bit more straightforward about that because these things, they do break a lot more easily than you would think if it was actually Sapphire Crystal. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that Apple made the new iPhone 7 Plus camera a huge deal. The dual camera setup, blah, blah, blah. It's great, right? It is great. However, it's not as great as they make it out to be. Why am I saying this? Is it just because I hate the bigger phone? No, although I do hate the bigger size, I think the bezels are ridiculous on the iPhones, uh, but that's a story for a different day. So why am I mad at the iPhone 7 Plus camera then? The reason I am upset with Apple is that they touted this as one of the great features on the new iPhone 7 Plus. So a bunch of people that wanted the smaller phone said, you know what, I think I'm gonna get the 7 Plus this year. I'm gonna shell out the extra 120 bucks or whatever it is and get the bigger model. Now these people are going to be miserable because for me, when I got when the iPhone 6 and 6 Plus came out, I was like, oh man, I gotta get that 6 Plus. It's got a better battery, it's got a bigger screen, better resolution, blah, blah, blah. So I got the 6 Plus. I returned it within three days. I could not stand that huge size. It didn't feel like an iPhone, it felt like a fucking tablet. I remember when I bought the iPad 2, right when that came out, I gave that thing to my mom. I could not use it. I said, this is stupid, why do I have this? I have an iPhone. So when I got the iPhone 7, or the 6 Plus, I was like, wow, this thing is way too freaking big. Not for me. So I returned it and I got the iPhone 6, never looked back. So when I got, naturally when I got the iPhone 7, I did not even consider the 7 Plus. Even with the dual camera setup, did not even consider it. Why? Because that size is way too big for me and most people. So a lot of people got the 7 Plus thinking that this telephoto lens is gonna make such a big difference for their photos when it doesn't. So why am I saying this? Okay, I'm gonna put up on the screen right now, everything Apple Pro did a test and he showed that he covered up the telephoto lens. And in low light conditions, it doesn't even use a telephoto lens when you think it does. You hit that two times zoom button, you think you're getting that telephoto lens? No, it's using the normal lens on the iPhone 7 Plus. Why does this matter? Because that's the exact same lens that's on the iPhone 7. Exact same lens. They both have optical image stabilization, so what's the difference between the cameras? The only difference is that the 7 Plus now has that telephoto lens, which only activates in perfect conditions in daylight. So honestly, how many photos do you think you're gonna take where you're gonna need to use that? Seriously, probably close to zero. No one really needs that. I mean, yeah, it can be coming clutch, you know, maybe once or twice a month, if that, but why would you sacrifice the usability of a nice iPhone 7 and get a 7 Plus? It just doesn't make sense. So Apple kind of, you know, I don't like the deception there where they made it seem like, you know, what it's really doing. A lot of it isn't post-processing as well. They kind of like mesh the two together and they do all this funky stuff with it. It's just not my cup of tea. So I don't like that deception. So they make you think that it's really optically, you know, a telephoto lens, but honestly in dark conditions, it's using the normal lens. That's not cool. It's basically deception. Now, the last thing that I want to rant about is the headphone jack. So 
you know, everyone's bitching about, you know, the lack of a headphone jack. Guys, it's not a big fucking deal. I have the iPhone 7. I used to use headphone jack, you know, headphones all the time. Now I don't use them as much, but does it matter? No, I have not, it hasn't affected me at all. And I haven't even wished for the headphone jack to be back. It doesn't phase me. And anyone who has an iPhone 7 right now can testify to that. They'll be like, it, it doesn't really matter. Everyone just bitches about it because they want to find something to bitch about. However, what I don't like about it is the fact that Apple lied about it. Now, what, how did they lie? They said that the reason that they removed the headphone jack was to make room. Make room for what? They didn't make the iPhone 7 thinner. Nope, it's the same exact thickness and actually I think it's a little bit heavier or maybe the same weight as the 6S. I have an iPhone 6 right here. It's thinner than my brand new iPhone 7. Why is this? I don't, I mean, you know? So if Apple was really, really wanting room in their phone to make it thinner, why didn't they make it fucking thinner? It's the same thickness as a 6S or thicker, I don't know. It's thicker than my 6, I can tell you that. I don't have a 6S. So that reason is bullshit. I know they did uh, put in that Taptic engine into it, but I'm pretty sure that they removed the vibration motor in it. So that should have been, you know, kind of a taking, give and take kind of thing. So Apple listed a few reasons. The first reason about, you know, making room, I think it's bullshit. The second reason about waterproofing, yeah, I can kind of agree with that. However, I think the, what, Samsung Galaxy something or other, one of those stupid new S7s, uh, they're IP68 water resistant and they have a headphone jack. Okay, so how is that possible? I know there have been tests and the iPhone is actually more water resistant than it claims to be, but I'm just saying. Um, so also this Forbes, I hate Forbes by the way, because look at all these fucking trackers, uh, but they say a waterproof iPhone is a big one for users. They're not waterproof, okay? I don't care what Forbes tells you, it's water resistant. Check Apple's website, it's not waterproof. Apple could have waterproofed the headphone jack on the iPhone 7, however, they chose not to. They removed it. Why did they actually remove it? It's the reason they haven't talked about. And the reason is because they own lightning connectors. They own that, that's theirs. So what do they do? They charge a royalty on every single lightning headphone pair made ever. Anything that's actually MFI certified, they are, that person that made that headphone has to pay Apple to get MFI certified, as well as a royalty on every single pair that they have sell. And all that money goes straight to Apple's pocket. They don't have to do a damn thing about it. All they had to do was remove a headphone jack and now everyone has to kind of switch up their game plan. Now, here's what I think is gonna happen. I don't think, I mean, I think there's gonna be a ton of headphones made for the lightning cable, but why the hell would you buy a, a pair of headphones that's only going to be used for your iPhone 7? Seriously, why would you do that? What I think most people are gonna do is move to wireless. Now, Apple's kind of pushing this themselves. They're pushing for the wireless stuff. Now, why are they doing this now? So. Two people, two, there's two different thoughts on this. So the first thought is, okay, if Apple really, they said that they did this. They said they got rid of the headphone jack because they wanted to see a wireless future. Then why the fuck didn't they add wireless charging, right? Now, there's two groups of people on this. One group says, because Apple's a fucking liar. That's partially true, but I think the other group is also true. What they're doing now is they are pushing the industry to kind of go towards wireless headphones. So once, by next year, everyone is going to have wireless headphones. I think. I think that's gonna be the next trend here. And once they do that, then once Apple introduces wireless charging, you know, then they're gonna kind of get the full wireless scene going. So that's that's what I think they're doing. I think that's why they said that. I think that's why they removed the headphone jack as well. Because not only do they own that port, they can make money off of it, but they also kind of wanna see a wireless future. And I think waterproofing is a third reason for that. But the reasons that they gave at the keynote were kind of lies, like making room. You really think a little headphone jack is gonna take up that much room? I know it takes up some room, a couple millimeters, but still, it's really not that big of a deal. So this has been my rant. I don't like being lied to, no one does. I take it a little bit to the extreme here, but um, this is just my thoughts. I think Apple, they don't think that their customers are stupid, but I think they're taking us for granted here. A lot of us are fanboys. I'm a fanboy, but I can still call them out on their bullshit uh, as I should. So that's the only way we can make stuff better. So I hope Apple kind of changes their course a little bit and is a little bit more transparent. Oh, also one other thing, I recently found out that Apple has, they track every single um, person that you contact through iMessage for 30 days. It's all sent and saved in their database. I'll link to that story as well. Did not like to see that, that kind of pissed me off. That's about all I got for this video, guys. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.